the reason why there's so much crisis in marriage is because we are so different. We're so different. So it's understandable that they have crisis. It's, the only problem is that we are not adjusting accordingly. This I want to be myself is what's breaking marriages. This is how I am. You know, this is how I am. Hey, from the day you decide to marry somebody, you can't remain the way you are. You have to become who you need to be. That is the secret of a successful marriage. The day you decide that, look, I will keep evolving to meet your needs. That's all. It's the rigidity. Me, I'm a man. This is me, I'm a woman. This, you know, this. If you keep making those excuses, you're never better. The secret to a successful marriage, even if you're dating, this applies to you too. Because as you start to date somebody, the main thing you'll be doing is to learn how to love that person. And everybody's different. That's why all these people that sleep around sexually, you know, you know, this is Potako. That's why people that, <laughs> if you don't understand, that's very fine. That means you're a good Christian. You know, people that sleep around just think there's nothing there, it's not sex. Some people say, oh, how can you even know sexual compatibility if you don't sleep around? Listen, there's nothing like sexual compatibility. There's only sexual commitment. A commitment to please your partner. Any experience you're getting is not needed because you've not even met your partner. It's when you know your partner and marry your partner that you need to learn anything. Anything you're learning before then is a waste. It's not sexual compatibility you're looking for. It's sexual commitment. You keep learning how to please that person. Some of you, the experience you're gathering is not needed where you're going. You are a PhD now. In sex, and the person you want to marry is OND. <laughs> Over syllabus. Over syllabus. I guess what I'm saying. So you're not married now. You have, you have developed appetites that your partner can never meet. Say, spin me on fan. Can you spin me on? I say, well, yeah. I don't spin. I've never spin somebody before. You say you're looking for compatibility. You have gone to. <laughs> You have got to gather experience you don't need. Are you here, somebody? Oh, the, God wants commitment, not compatibility. You will learn. And the person, you don't need to learn everything. All you need to learn is your spouse. There are many things your spouse will never need. And you have gone to acquire it. That appetite is in you. It will be disturbing you. Whenever people come to me and say, Pastor, I'm not enjoying, uh, I'm not enjoying sex with my husband. I say, compared to what? <laughs> compared to what? <laughs> what are you, if, this, if, if you had kept yourself, this would be all you will know and all you will enjoy. But you have tasted too many things. And you're not enjoying this one. How will you enjoy it? Is somebody get what I'm saying? As I say, well, Pastor, everybody is doing it now. That's a lie of the devil. I have a message titled, uh, What Nobody Tells You About Sex. One of the things they never tell you is that there are many people keeping themselves. It's just that those people keeping themselves are not as loud as those sleeping around. So you will feel everybody is doing this. a lie. I've wedded more virgins than non-virgins as a pastor. Somebody said, but pastor, how do you know they are even virgins? Because many of them, even after the wedding, we are still instructing them where to put it and where not to put it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's our job. <laughs> There's a people who wedded that months after they've not still had sex months. We are still trying to encourage them. <laughs> so I know their virgins is not uh, acting. Are you here, somebody? Two years ago or so, yeah, two years ago, we cancelled two, two, four different, two different couples, that's four people. Four of them were virgins. And they were adults, so not children. They were above 30. Four of them, all virgins, they were getting married. So you think everybody's sleeping around. It's not everybody, you're the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> and don't make any devil make you feel like sexual immorality is okay. Every disobedience has consequence. Every obedience has a blessing. Every. There's no free disobedience, and there's no loose obedience. Hallelujah. Every disobedience has consequence. This is why marriages are not standing that most of us have built on the wrong foundation. Go and check 99.9% .9 of the time when there's adultery in a marriage, there was fornication in that marriage. They built from a lifestyle of fornication. Because some people say, well, we love ourselves. Can't we move into each other's house? Can't I go and spend a weekend? Can't I be having sex? We already promised to marry ourselves. Listen to the reason why you can't do that. Because the self-control before marriage is the one that you use inside marriage. You've not, I will say it again. Don't worry. You've, you've not understood it. I said the self-control it takes not to move into his house. The self-control it takes not to go and spend weekend. The self-control it takes not to start sleeping with him before marriage. Hmm? That self-control for both of you is the same one. Hey. It's exactly the same one you will use in marriage. The one before marriage is the press up. 
The one inside marriage is the real deal. You think marriage stops sexual temptation? If it stopped it, the ministry of side chicks will not be flourishing so well. Ay, 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 ay. You go to club with him now to drink. When you marry, he will still go to club without you. <laughs> I need to give myself an offering, Pastor. These people are not appreciating what I'm saying. Let me just bless myself. <laughs> Sister, he is going to bar a nightclub with you now. The difference is that when you get married, you will get pregnant. He will not be pregnant. <laughs> you will have twins to take care of at home. He will have no twins to take care of. He will go back to the club. <laughs> you know who you left at the club. The ministry of side chicks is larger than love industries today. In the part of town I live in, in Lekki, uh, so many girls have houses, cars, no, no work. Or at least let me say no day job. <laughs> it's a night job. Mm -hmm. Somebody get what I'm saying? So that's self-control. The, the, whatever you are doing primarily is a rehearsal. If you say, I can't take it, let's just do it small. I can't control myself. Ah, Marriage won't give him self-control. He has built an appetite to take what is not his. And you encourage it. When you both of you enter marriage, you find that that appetite doesn't go away. And, hey, the, Pastor, the thing about lust is that you never lost after what you have. <laughs> Only give me some. Let me give myself an offering. These people don't appreciate me. I have to give myself an offering. <laughs> you don't lust after what you have. So, lust is a dangerous habit. If you have lust flourishing in your life, the day you marry, you can't lust after your wife. You have her. You will lust after another person. So the self-control before marriage is the real test. If you can't make it before marriage, you will struggle in marriage. Marriage doesn't remove sexual temptation. It increases it. In, you now become an exotic meat. Girls don't use eye to see married men. Married men are well trained. Somebody has groomed them. I didn't look like this before I got married. I didn't dress like this. I looked thin, tall, long neck, low cut, very hungry looking Igbo boy. Somebody has spent over 16 years building this. So many girls, this is the image many girls fall in love with. They won't fall in love with their mate because their mate is trekking. <laughs> they won't know that that guy trekking is the multi-millionaire of tomorrow. Ladies, that's why you must buy some of these books. You need, you need spiritual eyes to see the real men you should marry. Many of you want finished products. Finished product or finished by somebody. Somebody's own. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. So, 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 so you need to understand the rules. Mm -hmm.